Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to use a powerful file renaming utility called Power Rename. It's one of the utilities found within Microsoft Power Toys. This utility comes in really handy if you have to rename a bunch of files at once. So for example, when I import photos from my camera's SD card, I like to give it descriptive names because they come in with generic names like DSC001002. In order for me to retrieve these files later, I like to have at least the event name in the file name and maybe the month or the year when I took the photos. Of course, Windows has a feature that lets us select multiple files and rename them all at once, but whatever name we give it will be assigned across all of the files. So for example, if I highlight these files, right mouse click, click on rename, and let's give it a name, strategy, all of the files inherit that same file name just with the number at the end to help us distinguish. But if we need additional flexibility in how we name our file names, like being able to retain part of the original file name, it's difficult to do with the default Windows tool. This is where Power Rename comes in. It gives us a lot of flexibility in how we rename our files. I'm gonna show you how to do this. If you don't already have Power Toys installed, you'll need to head over to the GitHub page uh, to install it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Here I have a bunch of photos from my vacation to Cape Cod. As you'd expect, these pictures have generic file names. We see the photos were taken earlier this year and two different cameras were used. I can tell by looking at the type. Uh, NEF is the raw file extension for Nikon cameras and RAF is the raw extension for Panasonic Lumix cameras. Let's rename these files to give them meaningful descriptions. Um, in the file name, I wanna include the description Cape Cod Summer Vacation, uh, the year the photo was taken and the camera that was used. Now we can of course select the files individually. You can hold on to the shift key, click down to select them all. And for non-contiguous files, you can hold on to the control key and select them individually. But of course, I wanna rename all of the files in this folder. So I'm actually gonna go up one level, just right mouse click on the folder and select power rename. Now we have the window maximized here. In this section, we see all the files that are to be renamed to the left and to the right, even though it's a blank right now, it'll show how the files will be renamed once we define what we want. Okay, so this is the original file name. And as we put the different criteria, it'll start to be listed here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to replace or actually add the description Cape Cod Summer Vacation to the front of this, okay? And how we do that is I'm looking at the files and I see there's one common denominator and that's DSC. All of the files contain the letters DSC. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in DSC. And as I type that in, it's finding the match, right? So it's showing, okay, all of these files contain the file name DSC and we're gonna replace it with, since we haven't defined what we want to replace it with yet, it's taking the blank and adding it here. So instead of the blank, let's type in Cape Cod Summer Vacation. And I wanna put the DSC back into the file name so that I keep and retain the original file name, okay? So this is sort of the suggestions on, okay, they, based on what you've entered, this is how we're going to rename the file, okay? So now if we hit apply, we're really committing to the changes. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit apply. Now, if you were to go back to the folder, double click, and you see that all of the files have now been renamed. Now, the second part of this, I wanted to add the four digit ear to the file names. So the way we do that, this time I'm just gonna select the files, right mouse click, go to Power Rename, okay? The initial view when you open up Power Rename is always a little bit confusing because now in this section here, 
it shows the original file name, which is fine, right? So the first step, we committed to the change in the file name. So now they're showing up as the original file name. But the name to be renamed, it is confusing because you're seeing Cape Cod Summer Vacation twice. And the reason for that is because it still thinks that we're looking to replace DSC in the file name with Cape Cod Summer Vacation DSC. So it's a little bit sort of nested, if you will, okay? So when you open up Power Rename, the first thing that I do is just clear the parameters so that it's not confusing, okay? So we're starting with a blank slate. Here's the original file name. What do we wanna do? We wanna search for all of the files that has the name Cape in them. So it picks them up. And then you'll notice again, Cape disappeared because we the system thinks that we're replacing the word Cape with blank, okay? That's not what we wanna do. We want to add the four digit year. And how we do that is to go into this info icon. If you click on it, it shows you the syntax for the creation date and time, okay? And it's fairly intuitive. Um, everything starts with a dollar sign. If you want to include a four digit year, you type Y four times. If you want to make it two digit year, it's Y two times, so on and so forth. So you can select them from this list, or I just find it easier to just type them in, right? So I'm going to replace Cape with four digit year, and the letters have to be capital, by the way. And as I type them, you can see the change is happening real time, right? 2021, now it's missing the letter Cape, so I'm going to type that back in. And I think uh, you get the idea now, right? Okay, so I'm gonna commit to this change. I'm gonna hit apply. As soon as I do this, again, it's repeating. Again, that's because it's still searching for Cape and replacing with um, the four digit year and Cape, so it's, it's keep getting nested. But don't worry about this section as changes are happening, because if I go out of this and look at the file name, you can see that the year is not repeated here, okay? Now, as a final step, we need to assign the camera name to the file, right? That's what I wanted to do. So again, I'm gonna go back into Power Rename, okay? I'm gonna clear out the search fields so that it's not confusing, okay? It's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, anything with the .NEF extension are Nikon, uh, anything with RAF are Panasonic. So let's start with Nikon first. So I'm gonna search for everything that has .NEF. So it picks up just the Nikon files, okay? Cause that's what the, the, the match is for Nikon files. I'm gonna replace it with Nikon space dot NEF, because I don't want to change the extension, right? So we need to make sure that we type that back into it. And then you can see, um, oh, I guess we don't need the space in between. We need the space up front, because now the, the two file, two, two words are blended together. So I'm gonna put space to so put some spacing in between, and that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna commit that. I'm gonna clear these two fields. And then now I'm gonna search for dot RAF, replace it with space Panasonic dot RAF. That looks good. I'm gonna to commit to the change, apply. Let's go back out to see how the files are looking. And there we go. Okay, now I see, okay, this file, this picture was taken in 2021, Cape Cod Summer Vacation. I have the original file name from the camera, and then I know which camera took these pictures. Um, so pretty straightforward. Now there's a lot more that you can do within Power Rename. Uh, for example, if I were to go back into it, uh, we could change the text formatting. So if I wanted, uh, let's clear this out for now. 
if I wanted all of the files to be in capital, then click on this, make them capital. If I want them to be in lowercase, click on this. If I want them to be in sentence case, click on this. So there's a lot that you can play around with, but I think for most of us, uh, what we covered is should be enough. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. Thanks and bye for now.